Hello Cup Coders and welcome back to Wizard Training on the Cup Code server. If you look out the window behind me, you probably see a spell altar. That's right. I have already started Ars Magica. Now, what I've figured is I've done Ars Magica for you guys time and time again. We've built this altar, we've created spells, we've gone after the first boss, and we've done all kinds of stuff for Ars Magica. Why, you know, I don't, I don't really feel like I should have, I mean, not that I, I'm not saying I should. Let me, let me get my wording right here. I don't really feel like you want to see me doing the same things over and over again. So, with that said, now I'm still going to be using Ars Magica because I like the spells, man. Ars Magica is so far has been my favorite mod for Minecraft. Um... But we're going to be branching out, actually. We are definitely branching out. And today, I'm planning on starting Thaumcraft. That's right, guys. Thaumcraft. Now, I've been doing some studying on Thaumcraft for the past few weeks. Yes, I said weeks. I've been studying Thaumcraft for a few weeks now. And I kind of like it. I, I think it's pretty interesting. There's some parts of Thaumcraft that's really, you know, grindy, but we'll get over that. We'll work it out. No big deal. All right. So with that said, um, okay. Oh, server news, server news. Yes. Let's, let's talk about the server. Uh, recently we had an issue on the server where a bunch of things, you know, a bunch of guys on the server have gotten together and they built up spawn and they built their huge bases right near spawn. Uh, the idea is that they're building farms so that anyone that comes on the server is, and it's a new player can go to their, their spawn base and get yourself started in all of the different magical mods so that you don't have to leave spawn until you're pretty well established as a wizard. Um, but with that said, we've had a rash of thievery occurring on the server lately. Uh, a bunch of stuff has gone missing out from the spawn base, things that they did not intend people to take. They were things that they work really hard to obtain those, and they just happened to put them in an open chest because there's four or five guys working together to build this place. Uh, we did find the culprit. I'm not going to, I'm not going to name it who it was on camera. Yeah, I'm just going to keep that one quiet. Everybody, you know, the people who were on the server knows who it was. The person who did it knows who they are. Um, they've been chastised for it, and if it happens again, they will be banned. I hate to put it that way, um, but it doesn't matter how close of you are to me. It doesn't matter if you're family or if you're a friend or if you've been on the server for years. You know the rules. You continue to break the rules. You will be banned from the server, and when I say banned, that is permanent. You will not come back. In order to make it back on the server, you pretty much have to convince me and Cupcake Mama and the council to forgive your past transgressions. And let's see, that's five total people that you have to convince. And that's, I don't really see that it's likely. And when, when I say that you have to convince all five, it has to be unanimous. There's not going to be anything of, oh, well, three of us agree to let you back on, so you're back on. No. If you've been banned, it takes all five people to get you back on. All right, well, that's it. Let's get on with the show. Let me reset my timer here because I don't want to start the timer until we're done with the announcements. I want to give you guys 15 minutes of show, not 15 minutes of me talking. Blah. All right, so let's get on with the show. Start the timer. Ding, 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 ding. Timer's good. Um, I had a cup of coffee. Can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> yeah. All right, so... <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm just being funny. I got something on my mouse pad. It's annoying. All right, so Thumbcraft. What do I need? I think I need some sticks. I think there might be some in here. Up oh, there's a stick right there. We'll take that. Thank you. Uh, we're also gonna need some iron, which I think that's over here. Hello. Take two of those. Yep, yep, yep. And that'll give me. Nuggets. I need some nuggets. Um, what else? Oh, we need one, two, three. I think we need about nine of those. Uh, hey, I do have some of these, so we need one, two, three of those. All right. 
Um, oh, yeah, and, and I should probably check my mail while we're at it. Because I got to go out here and do some stuff anyways. But I, I happen to already, cause, you know, before I do the show, I almost always check the mail before I do the show so that I can tell you. So here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me. Hey, can you see what time of day it is? Oh, no, you didn't have a watch. Okay, well, you know, get a watch next time. Ow! Whoa! Maybe I need to see what time it is. Oh! Punk. Why am I wasting my sword when I have a spell? Okay, okay, okay. Well, I've got the book. Let's get in. Let's get back inside before I get killed. In. Why did... That's why I hate that. All right, here we go. So, this book, Thamanamakan by... Sanka Tor. Um, I made this book. If you need help making your Thamanamakan, it is the arcane compendium for Thumbcraft. You already know how to, or wish to figure it out on your own, just don't turn the page. Okay, well, we're not going to turn the page. Um, not because I don't want to know how. Not because I want to figure it out on my own, but because I actually already know how. As you see, I've already got everything together. So we're just going to hop right into it and get nothing to it but to do it, right? We pull those, plop those up there, and that's going to make three books. Uh, whoop, we need wood. I did forget one thing. Hold on, we're going to go back downstairs. I get wood. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six. And you know what? I might as well, may as well replace my sword because you never know. Uh, Reginald's going to want me to go to sleep. Hold on. Yep, yep, yep. Getting to it, Reggie. Hold on. Do, do, do. Yeah, if you're on the server, most people on the server tend to like to sleep through the night. So, by all means, if it's getting to close to nighttime, go to your bed. If you don't have a bed, then you can do slash AFK, and that will put you in AFK, and then it'll still skip over to the morning time. So, if you can't make it to your bed... Get to a safe place and go AFK. That way, you know, everyone else that's on the server can go, still get the skip to morning time thing. Um, I'm kind of, while we're at it, uh, I want to mention this. It's a possibility. I can do this. Um, so I want to hear what you guys think about it, though. Because we're always skipping to daytime, I can actually change it so it's always daytime on the server. So give me a thought what you think about that. I'm kind of in, in the school of thought, like, I'd rather it stay the way it is. Because, you know, I don't know if there's mobs, like enemies, or anything that we can only get at nighttime or something. Um, I, from my also, from my understanding, that if you pick mandrakes at night, they don't jump out and attack you. I, that's my understanding. Now, in my experience, I, I happened to pick mandrakes close, just as it was turning night the other day. And out of 20-something plants, only like two of them jumped out and attacked me. So that's kind of what gives me a clue to that, all right? Okay, so back to what I was doing. We got the three books. Just plop them up there. Is that right? Is that right? I don't I don't think that's right. No, I don't think that's right. Hold on. There it is. Poof. There's the bookshelf. All right, so we got the bookshelf. Next thing we need, we need to make doo -doo -doo, two iron caps. And we're going to take these two iron caps, put them right there, and make a stick. And that makes us our magic wand. Look, I have a magic wand. Oh, yay. All right, we're going to take this magic wand. I'm going to place down this bookshelf. And we're going to right-click with the magic wand. And that gets us our thumb-a-nom-a-nom-a-nom-a-con. thumb a nom a nom a nom a nom a con Yeah. thumb a nom a nom a nom a con Look, I'm just totally messing up. All right, so if you don't know, if you've never done ours, if you've never, ours magic, I see, I was about to say it. If you've never done Thomcraft, um, this is the book for Thomcraft. Really interesting. I mean, compare this to the Ars Magica book. This is really cool. I mean, hey, check this out. Different tabs over here. At first, I didn't really like the way this kind of, you know, you grab and drag around. So I'm like, you know, we can just go way off. But it does limit you, so you can't really, you're not going to get lost in it, I promise you. Like, this is as far down as I can go. So, all right. Looking at this, all these light ones, these are things that you've already unlocked. You can click on them, you can read them, whatever you want to do. These ones over here that are blinking, well, these are ones that I need to unlock. These darks, well, 
I don't have access to those right now. So we need to research these to unlock them. Um, some of these, I believe the circle ones, nope, that one says I need research notes. Okay, hold on. Uh, I know there's some here. Okay, so where is it? Yep, that one doesn't have it. Do, do, do. There's some in here that you don't need to do research for, and we'll we'll get to the research. I promise you. Yeah, there it is. Poof. See these little ones here. Um, notice it says you do not have the required aspects to purchase this, so we don't actually have to research that per se. Instead, we just have to have the right essences or essentia, whatever, in order to un in order to to buy them, pretty much. And the rest of these that are blinking, we need scribbing tools. Now, scribbing tools, we'll get to that too. But first off, oh my God. So we've got the book, um, the Phomonomicon. That's what this is all about. Ironically, you have to get the book in order for you to get something that tells you how to get the book. Check that out. All right, so that's what this page is telling us. This tip page is telling us how to make the book. We already know how to make the book by this point. All right, next thing, research. We're going to have to make a thermometer, which is fairly easy to make. In fact, I probably already got all the ingredients. So let's go check that out. I think that was glass, gold, and two aspects. Now, I've been throwing all the aspects over here. Let's see, we got 3, 8, 16, 6, 9, and 12. So I'm going to take the one I have the most recent, most of. We're going to take two of those, uh, two gold, and let's go see if I have any glass made up over here. I have glass. So let's go. Screw that. Screw that. Just use the craft command. Craft command. VIP commands. All right. So we'll put the gold there. Put glass. Sorry. Put the gold there. Put these there. And that gives us our thermometer. Thermometer. Okay. I have two. Why do I have two iron? In? Oh yeah. Duh. Like, why do I have two iron? I thought oh, I just crawled it up, but no, I need to make my sword. Uh, that's my backup sword, okay? All right, um, I, I know I saw something. All right, I gets rid of that. Uh, do, 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 do. Now, the reason I'm carrying this watch over here, this clock, if I happen to be out in the woods somewhere, I can see what time it is and know if it's day or night. So I would definitely highly suggest that, especially when playing online on, an on, mm -hmm. online on a server, because, you know, can tell if it's day or night. Now the next thing you want to do with the thermometer is start scanning stuff. Now well, I just got some research points from that. Let's see, can I do glass? I have got glass. I see stone bricks. Yep, we got some stone bricks there. And I'm probably not going to get anything from that. Nope, nothing to be learned. Um, can I research this? No. Cannot, do not have the necessarily the knowledge required. So that's the next thing we want to do is you want to run around and start scanning stuff. I don't ha can't learn anything from half slabs from the in micro blocks. Just so you're aware. Oh yeah, let's see. Throw that out there. And you can you can write research your your items like this. And I can pretty much tell you that most of my items I'm not going to be able to research, but. Uh, I know I can research this right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can we research this over here? New. No. About this. New. No. About that. New. No. We cannot research that. So we have to start researching anything and everything we get our hands on. Like, there we go. It's poof. Oh, oh. Let's take some of that out of there. Oh, man. I'm going to have to pause and go to the bathroom here in a second, I think. It's not good, buddy. I'm telling you, it's not good. I think I might have had some milk products earlier. I'm lactose intolerant. That's a bad sign. All right, open the door. Can we, I bet you I can't do grass. Nope, cannot do grass. Nope. It says seeds, but it's not really seeds per se. It's wheat. Nope. Can't scan that. Nope. Nope. We already did seeds. Nope. After a while, I'll get to the point where I can scan virtually anything in the game. And by that time, I'll be pretty much done. Bet you can't do all good. Nope. Belladonna. 
Nope. Mandrake. No. Snowball. No. We cannot do it. Grass. Negative. Cobwebs. No. Great wood. I guarantee no. Great wood leads. Guaranteed no. All right. Oh. Sand. Yes. Water. Yes. Dirt. Yes. And we're going to go downstairs and look and see if we have anything down here that we can scan. What you're doing here, um, so you know, we're trying to gather up a bunch of research points. Because the re you're going to need the research points in order to actually get stuff. Look, I bet you can't do obsidian. Nope, can't do obsidian. Coal ore. Yep, there we go. Iron ore. Yep. Oh, look at that aura node. Now, I'm going to let you know other things. Aura nodes. Now, as long as I'm holding my wand, you look in the upper left, you see that little weird looking thing up there? That tells you how much power you have for each little thing. So I'm going to take that aura node. Where was it? Here, aura node. There you are. Now, notice you can barely see the aura node unless you're using this. So you can find that aura node right there. I'm going to draw power from it by right clicking while pointing at the aura node. Let's see, we got some red power. We got some, looks look like, yeah, we got some green. We got some red and some of that gray stuff down there. I'm just going to keep drawing it until I fill up. There we go. We are filled up. Now, we cannot, I cannot research that yet. That's fine, though. That's fine. How about the cinnabar? I guarantee no. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe so. Some gravel over there. I can research that. Thank you. Let's see. Let's go back this way and see if we can find anything over this way to research. I pretty much hollowed this place out, I believe. For the most part. Oh, there's water above that. La 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 la. la. It's a long, long trip. I already got iron ore. Yes, I hear them. I hear them. Oh, cobblestone. Have not done cobblestone. We can do cobblestone. Duh. Walk right past it and never even scanned it. Oh, let's get over there. Can I scan that? Probably not. Nope. Cannot rescan that. All right. Well, that's about it. I mean, that looks like all I can scan for the day. So we're going to head back up to the surface now. And I think that's pretty much going to be it for that for this episode. Because um, I'm kind of running out of time here. Plus, i got to stop and go to the bathroom. So you know how that goes. But as always, I want to say just a like, a comment, and a share. You know, it lets me know that you care. And it also... It gets me out there. Like every time you share one of my videos, other people see it. And that could, you know, it can make your brother, your sister, your neighbor, it can make one of them into one of my fans. Or, I don't know, I don't really like seeing the word fans because, I mean, I just be honest. I mean, just because you watch my show, it doesn't mean that you're a fan. You know, I, I have a different view of what fans are than what most people probably. So, yeah, I'm just going to say, you know... It, Sharing one of my videos might make one of your neighbors or whatever into a, into a viewer. So anyways, that's going to be it. As all, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.